Coach, back-to-back -back days, I mean, the offense has been pretty quiet, but then at the end, they kind of turns up and puts runs on the boards. Uh, kind of what did you see? Like, what are the changes that you see? Why has your team been quiet for the first couple of days? I, I thought today was a, one of the first times we've been really immature offensively. Uh, like, give Fisher's tail off. Like, kudos to him. You're not – he gives no free bases. They're not making errors. And so there's 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 no freebies throughout the game, right? So you've got to be able to, to string together really tough at bats. You have to be able to screw forward in the box if you need to, to, to compete, to hit ball the other way. Uh, and and we've gotten very used to comfortable playing a certain way offensively. You know, the guy throws it, you know, 92 down the middle, and we drill it, and walks the guy, and hangs a breaking ball, and we drill it. And, and today they did a, did a wonderful job. They forced you into playing a different style of baseball, and we didn't do a good enough job of. of adjusting to that and, and that was my frustration today and that's really what it came down to is you get to the ninth there and they give you know multiple free bases and then anytime guy, guy gets on base and there's an opportunity yeah if you guys feel a little more confident a little more energy and all of a sudden you get a chance to put runs up but but you, you have to be able to be more competitive when there's 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 not it's not your normal style of play you know a guy throws a change up in any count wherever he wants to sinks it good sinker good slider could change up both sides in the count and, and and we didn't we just weren't good enough more competitive enough and you know that was the frustrating thing for me we had run second base get picked off ran right in the face of a guy you know break up broke every rule in the book at second base we have a leadoff double he's up third base with uh with less than two outs we tap back to the pitcher on a change up you know we just time and again where you just have opportunities to to put a run here and put a run there and, and we didn't do it just really um it was a it's a lack of execution and you know offensively we've been good throughout the year but you, you just you don't get to play the game in the way that you're comfortable playing all the time. And, and we didn't do a good enough job of, of, of adjusting and playing a different style. That's what I saw. Coach, you mentioned the pitching. What has the, the starters done the past couple of days to kind of keep the lineup off balance? Yeah, Brim gave us a good start. He did a good job. He just, again, just back to you know, the basic fundamental of, of executing a fastball to both sides of the plate, landing a breaking ball. And, you know, there were several 1-0, 2-0 counts where he landed a breaking ball, landing a change up. And that keeps guys off balance. And, and that's a, you know, that's, then that's the name of the game, right? Which is what their guy did to us. He kept us off balance, you know, avoids loud contact or when you get it, it's at somebody, you know, hopefully and, and, and just manage, you know, Brad did a good job managing through the game. They had the big hit there, you know, with the double the center uh, with two outs and two strikes and, and, uh, and, and ended up being kind of a deciding a differential there. But he did a good job. We've had good starting pitching. Those guys have gotten better and they've adjusted. And, and I'm proud of the way that they've grown. I'm proud of the way that proud of the way that Coach Glant has continued to work those guys and they've grown and improved. And and offensively, you know, we just didn't do enough to to support those guys. I wanted to expand a little bit on Bremer's start. It was he had a good day, but it was interesting. He got a lot of swing and miss contact, but there were other times he, when the Northwestern made contact that it was hitting pretty hard. So can you talk about the difference between when he got swings and misses and when Northwestern actually made contact? Well, a lot of it's just the sequence in which they throw to. So. If, if he's behind in the count, if he has to double up on a pitch, if he's unable to control an off-speed pitch and has to go back to a fastball or throw the same one back-to-back -back consecutively, at the same time, they hit. They've scored 10 runs and coming into the weekend. Somebody pointed out they scored 10 runs in like seven of the last eight games. So they're a good offense. They have some veteran guys there that can really hit. Very, very well coached, and, and they're going to they're punish mistakes. And sometimes they're going to punish balls and heart mistakes. That's what good offenses do, and, and, and they did that. And, and you know Brad competed his tail off. And, and gave us a good enough start to win that ball game, and we just didn't do it. Ty Bothwell had a smoother outing today. What did yeah. you see from him? Again, just located the fastball. Just located the fastball. And and when you when you force guys to manage both sides of the plate, it's a lot harder for those guys. To, to they, they, in, in essence, they're gonna they're gonna take half the plate or the other. And that's how you teach offense. It's like you're not covering the one zone. You're not covering the six zone. You're, you're gonna cover one or the other. So if you can go both sides, you you can only manage half the plate at a time. And, Ty was able to land his fastball much better today. I mean, a few off-speed pitches got crossed up once, but Ty was much better. He's been working really hard. Ty's talented. He's good enough, and we're going to need Ty to, to continue to grow and improve for, for the course of the season, and he did that today. He took a, a major step in the right direction. I was really happy for Ty. We've talked about resiliency a lot this off or this season yeah. in these post-game press conferences, and yeah. as frustrating as it is today, the offense comes back and scores six runs in the ninth inning. Like, yeah. how, how important is that the – the lineup stays focused even in times when they're down. Yeah, no, it was great. Yeah, and, and I told my for the game, you know, it, everyone you leave here, everyone's going to pat you on the back and say we scored six in the ninth. That's that's awesome. It's terrific. You have, you know, runner on first base in your top of the lineup with one out and you have a shot, right? You know, it, it, it is great to see that. But what, what, what bothered me, and I told them, was what bothers me is that 
you know, they, they go four pitch walk or hit by pitch or whatever it is. And, 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 and that, that allows us to kind of jumpstart and get some, kind of get some energy going from there. When the game is not in your favor, that's when we have to compete better. Uh, but yeah, again, you know, we are offensive enough to, to put up runs in bunches. And, and, and so when you have that, and they are, they're, they're tough kids. We just, we just didn't want to adjust to that. But uh, once the game was a little more in our lane, yeah, go, go, go and put up runs and hit and be comfortable and those things. And, and uh, it just has to happen sooner than that. There's been a lot of shifts so far this year. It's a lot more than I've seen, at least here in the yeah. rest of the season. Uh, how, do, how will that affect plate approaches going forward as more data gets out about different guys throughout the season? Yeah, well, there's two sides of it. One is there's a shift, and then, do they, then do they pitch to the shift? And so sometimes when you have a shift and then you pitch to the shift, you let's say it's a full side shift and then they they feed you in. You just it's you got to hit through it like that's just it is what it is. That's a lot harder. My frustration, there, there have been times where we've been shifted and then pitched out of the shift. And that is, is a problem, right? Where the, you're shifted and then they pitch out of the shift. Let's say it's a full side shift to a lefty and I get pitched predominantly away. Right now, I have to hit the ball the other way. I have to hit the ball in the six hole and, and move the offense along. And so, yeah, the shift is a part of baseball. It's here to stay, and certainly in college baseball, as more information comes out and as you as you play, guys are more pitchable. Right, we're able to shift more when guys are more pitchable. When you have got guys that have three pitches and look at a fastball, now we can shift and we can shift late. We can shift even pitch to pitch. Now, when you can't do that, you don't you, you can't shift. And they do a good job of pitching to their shift. Their starters the last two days. Super Bowl coach, they pitch to the shift. If they're going to go in a certain spot on the field, they're going to pitch to it. They're going to execute to it. And now we've actually hit through it several times. Carter has and uh, a couple of times, but you, you have to be able to manage your way through those things. And a lot depends on what they're trying to do once they get into the shift, if they can execute to it or not. Take two more. Philip Glasser with a couple of pair of nice plays today. Uh, wasn't able to get the um, run on that ground ball gap, um, but did cover a lot of ground. What, did you, what have you seen from him defensively that contributes to Philip is an incredible worker. He's a, you know, the great thing about him coming here this year is it, just giving the rest of the guys a, a great example of how to work defensively and, and be a, a marksman defensively. Someone that's takes great pride in the way they handle the ball, the way they throw the ball, his throwing program, his arm strength, all of that's all of that's self-driven and motivated. You know, he's a talented kid, but it's not it's not terribly God-given. I mean, he is a product of a ton of a ton of hard work and and has overcome many physical limitations that he has to become a terrific defender and. That's something that everybody can learn from as you, as you go through it. But you know, he, he is a, he's a professional worker and takes great pride in his defense. And, and because of that, we, we're the beneficiary and some, some big time plays from him. Is there a strategy looking forward for tomorrow for, for the starting pitcher? Is it going to be a bullpen game or someone that's going to try and get a few innings at the start? It, it, it's a conversation we'll have to have. We got a few guys kind of kind of nicked up a little bit. So I'll talk to Dustin here after the game and see if we can get it. It's obviously going to be a game where we have to cover. We're going to have to cover some innings there on the back end, but we are in a good spot on the mound to be able to do that. So I feel comfortable where we're at on the mound. Um, we've got three or four guys lined up that can go out and give us good innings, and we should be in a good spot. Great. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.